So you know how you watch all these videos about Philips Hue and how like amazing it is? Okay, well, here's the Philips Hue sync box and it should work. I have my PC hooked up here and nothing's working. It's not responding like at all and it's hooked directly into this box. So what I have to do, very, very inconvenient, I have to unplug completely from the Philips Hue box because of course maybe it could be just my cord or maybe something could have gone wrong on my end so i have to unplug that and then plug into the tv itself right so i'm back here physically plugging it into the television right okay so now grab my remote i go into my tv and i'm going to go to hdmi 4 and magically my pc works but when you want to try to plug it into the philips hue box it just, it doesn't work and the lights aren't turning on and it's very situational. Sometimes this thing works, sometimes it doesn't. It's a very stupid product. Then it's extremely expensive for it to be this dumb, right? So I think I got something sitting on my keyboard, but whatever. I unplug that and let's try to plug it back into the Philips Hue sync box, right? Right, so I'm here. Can't really see a whole lot back here. Apologize for that, but you know, it is what it is. I'm trying to struggle here, so I'm gonna plug this in. And in the perfect world, that should literally just do the trick, and it doesn't. And it's so very annoying, because it's supposed to work, and it recognizes nothing. And for anybody wondering, my Z9F soundbar is not like some separate thing here that I have my PC plugged into, right? But now, the Philips Hue sync box has my HDMI hookups. So what I'll do is I'll fire on my PlayStation 4, my very, very dusty PlayStation 4, if I do say so myself, right? Okay, so now that I fired on the PlayStation 4, now the Philips Hue lights are working, right? So we're gonna go into where I have my PlayStation 4 located which I believe is in the second one here. Okay. And let's see if it works. Or maybe it's the first one. I never remember initially which one it is. It's, the, it's this one. So it takes a while. Waiting. Just waiting. At this point, my PS4 is on. The Philips Hue lights turned off now. PS4 Pro is on, right? Okay. So like, what the hell, right? And this is a $400 product that does not work correctly. And you know, you could say that I got a bad one, maybe I should exchange it. But you know, when this happens more often than not with newer products, and I'm always the only person finding like real flaws like this and actually willing to talk about them, there's a problem. Because I know good and damn well I'm not the only one that has found this issue with the Philips Hue Sync. So it's really annoying because I, I only watch videos of people showing you how cool it is and glowing about how awesome it is, but not telling you that the damn thing literally doesn't work some of the time. Now, I was watching movies last night and it was working just fine, and now it's choosing not to work. And I've had this problem at least twice now, and this is the third time at least that I've counted. So uh, yeah, I think it's something to talk about when you pay $400 and it's a hunk of garbage. It literally is a hunk of garbage for perspective. My bias lighting strip does just fine, right? So my regular setup, how I would normally watch, that works just fine. But the thing I paid substantially more money for does not. And, and it really does get on my first nerve here because the Philips Hue, as you see, not on at all. And that's a problem because that's not supposed to be the case. So I just wanted to show this off to you guys, maybe on the fence, it's not plugged in at this point just on the fence about the Philips Hue because I mean, seriously, like I'm, I'm showing you like a real time diagnostics here because this should not be happening, right? I have unplugged this thing maybe like a thousand times and I have yet to be able to get it to work in exactly the way I'm trying to get it to work. And so I don't know, I might have to end up returning the damn thing. You see it's plugged directly into the Philips Hue here. Okay, this is my PC wire. And then if we go down here, it's also plugged in right there. So honestly, I don't understand why it's not working. I have everything else plugged in. It's plugged into the TV correctly. 
and it just does not work correctly at all. Unplug it, plug it back in, and I'm doing this in real time even though it's really frustrating and annoying because you need to see this. This is the raw part of product reviews that has gone missing from YouTube and today's age of marketers and influencers. They'll tell you how wonderful it is and how great it is, but they won't show you this part. The part where it maybe ain't so great, right? And maybe you, you might have to try to reset some things, right? I, I, I mean, I, I don't understand how a $400 product cannot be up to the task here. And again, my PlayStation not working. It's not showing up anything. So I'm gonna go to a different HDMI port, go back here, and it should bring up my menu here. So finally, after all of that BS, okay, and, and fiddling around, eventually these lights, there you go, will turn on. It's a very stupid system that doesn't always work right. And I feel like if you have something that it, I don't know, I, I couldn't tell you why it's not working with my PC now, but it was working yesterday. It picks and chooses devices because sometimes my PlayStation doesn't work with it and sometimes it does. So now you guys see the lights are on. So, I mean, I, I don't understand. The Philips Hue is not a good product. I don't recommend it to most people. It's way overpriced for what it is to begin with. And then the damn thing has the audacity not to work with the majority of what I'm trying to get it to do. And just so you see, this is the Philips Hue. This is the HDMI sync box that I'm talking about, right? It is what it is. And I just don't understand. And, and just so you can see, everything is plugged into the damn thing, okay? And there's no misunderstandings here on my part. Again, my PC hooked directly into the Philips Hue sync box. Then we look down here, and that same optical wire is right here. And it should just work. And, you know, my PC will work just fine if I plug into my TV, but when I want to use the $400 box that I just paid for, it doesn't work. And that's a problem, so I'm showing you here something that nobody else is going to show you. Now, of course, I'm having some technical difficulties with my Bluetooth driver, so I've got my PC stuff all set up over here to try to fix all that, but you guys get the point. It's a hassle, it's a pain in the ass, and so, yeah, I mean, I don't recommend the damn thing, but... Ask your questions down below, and until the next video, thanks for watching the number one brand in honesty. See you guys later.